U.S. Coast Guard rescues the last four trapped crew members from the capsized ship off the Georgia coast on Monday. This is on Sputnik News. U.S. Coast Guard rescued the last crew member trapped inside a wrecked automobile transport ship off Georgia's coast. Rescuers had to cut through the exposed hull of the Golden Ray. It was a massive cargo ship that overturned on Sunday morning, shortly after leaving port. The last remaining trapped crew member was rescued Monday evening after three others were rescued earlier that day. The other 20 crew members were rescued on Sunday. Coast Guard responders told PAP that they lowered supplies to the three now rescued crew members through the hole cut in the hull. Those three were able to escape through the hull, while the fourth remained trapped behind glass in an engineering control room without access to food, water or fresh air until he was rescued on Monday evening. The language barrier was reportedly a problem with the rescue. The crew is entirely South Korean. Rescuers located by the, the crew by tapping back and forth between the two groups through the metal hull, and the ship's engineer reportedly translated between the rescuers and the trapped crew. Quote, they look super happy to be one of that space, to be out of that space, end quote, Coast Guard spokesman told reporters at a press conference Monday. He noted they climbed down onto the rescue tugboat by themselves, but were being treated at the local medical center. Quote, they were subject to some pretty tough conditions, end quote, over the roughly 35 hours since the ship overturned, the spokesman said. Nothing that, quote, it's a lot harder in that ship than it was for us on the outside, and I'm sure on the outside it was probably pushing 120 or more degrees Fahrenheit, end quote. The Coast Guard had no time frame for an expected rescue of the fourth crew member at the time of the presser. The Golden Ray is 656 feet, and it left the port of Brunswick in St. Simmons Sound, Georgia, on Sunday morning with a load of 4,000 cars, automobiles, 4,000, but quickly began listing to port and eventually overturned and caught fire. The ship is located about 65 miles south of Savannah in an area of the United States devastated just days ago by the strike of Hurricane Dorian. The National Transportation Safety Review Board launched an investigation into why this shipwreck took place. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.